Hey coach, before we jump into this week's video, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You can grab 10% off by clicking here and subscribing, but let me give you some quick recommendations. Number one, if you're a new coach, you have to grab the complete new coach bundle. It comes with offense, defense, drills, practices, everything. Plus you'll get wristbands, all the equipment that you need right there. If you don't need equipment or wristbands, you can grab the complete new coach pack instead. Another thing that's super popular the plug and play bundle. If you're looking for offense plays and wristbands, that is the one you need. If you don't want wristbands at all, just want the offense, the drills, the practices, get the complete coach package and that's a must. If you just want wristbands, nothing else, you can grab those here. If you're looking for equipment, everything you see in my videos from footballs to flags to the clipboard, all of that can be found under equipment. And then look, if you're looking to customize, you want to mix and match my plays and build your own playbook, that's the play builder right here. I will import any plays that you grab from me so you can mix and match and customize, then print it out for the wristbands, one per page, four per page, etc. Look, jump over to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Everything comes in 5v5, 6v6, or 7v7. I've got your back. Now let's jump in to this week's video. All right, Coach, one of the formations that we love out here is this trips formation where it's at different levels just like this. Now, this is 5v5. We do have 6v6 and 7v7. You can go to flag football with Coach D and grab all this. But what we're going to do today is we're going to walk you through not only what it looks like here on the field, but we're going to show you the different progressions. Like what I like to do is have four plays back to back that look identical on the field but then the routes are specifically designed for certain things throughout the situational game plan right so for example if i needed short yardage here that i don't have a running back in the backfield but i've got c who's going to do a nice whip route go right in front of the quarterback and boom i've got nice short yardage i could probably get the sideline but if i needed a quick you know two five yards, something like that, this one might work. If I wanted over the, the middle, then I could go with this play right here that has B doing a kind of a, a shorter post. Maybe that's three to five step right here, Noah. Yeah. And then boom, right across, but it's layered, right? And then if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to fake them out, I could have a nice fake coming across. A could, instead of going out like this, they could go fake right in front of the quarterback, do a fake handoff, gives me a couple seconds to hit this deep out pattern. So we're just gonna walk through each of these and show you why we're using each of them. Now on this first one, Noah, let's go with number nine here. I'm gonna go C here, but why do you think this is going to, to do a whip route like that and not instead go deep with everybody else? Uh, so that I have options and so it's not like crowded over there. Yep. So I like to crowd just a little bit, but then I like to have one or two players completely go the opposite way. So let's show them how it's done. Let's do number nine real quick. So I'm going to be C right here. Ready, go. While everybody else is going deep like that, I'm going to act like I'm going that way. I put my foot in the ground and then I'm coming right in front of you. So exactly what Noah just did, which you didn't see it. What did you do? You looked which way? Uh, the way everyone else was going. That's it. And then at the last second, what did you do? Th threw it to you. That's right. So that those are the little things that you can do, which pulls it. And what I like about the center on that one is they're pulling the defender in the middle down, back as well. So this is out of nowhere. It's quick. And no, you may need to make that quick decision to get it in front of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. On this next one, same exact formation, right? Same exact formation, yeah. but the difference is we've got a couple of what? Differences. That one's going, she's going further and B is getting the ball. Yep. So I've got two post patterns. So I've got a little bit deeper yardage right across the middle of the field. And what I like is doing the layered approach here, right? I've got a, an option that's going to go super deep, but then I also have the mid. So if I have, let's say, a, a blitzer that's leaving the middle of the field wide open, then I could probably hit that. And then A is your other option over here doing a nice, right? This yeah. is almost like a go pattern if you needed to do that. And then center is literally just pulling the defender again out of the way. Let me show you A or uh, B. Let's go B. Ready, go. I go one, two, three, and because I know that C is going to go a little bit deeper, I'm going to undercut and go this way, and now I've got, boom, 
the nice reception that's a little bit more shallow in the middle of the field. So I like that one. Okay, now that we've done that, now let's go 11. And look, what is it? We got egg in the ball. So is it the same exact look as this one? Yes. Yes. So what I'm telling Noah is now I want you to focus more on the A route instead of this. So how would I trick the defense if I wanted to focus in on this? Any idea? Uh, you could like run the same way you were running and like look the same way that you threw last time. Yes. Yeah. And he could even pump if he had to. And he's giving a quick look just in the side of his eye, right? In that corner of his eye, he's able to see the A. Oh, he's got a step or she's got a step on that defender on that safety in the back. That means you've got a little bit of distance where you can throw it there. So that's what you're looking for. You can look here, but then last second you're gonna throw here. Yeah. Does make sense? All right, yeah. let me show you A on that. So I'm lined up back behind, right? Even if I did some motion and I landed here, so I've got a nice still trips formation. They're thinking I might go anywhere, right? And here we go. Ready, go. So I'm gonna, Instead, I'm actually going to go this way first, then I take this outside edge, and I'm going down the sideline just like this. And he's going to hit me after looking at his other options, okay? So that's like, like your big gain. So after I've done maybe a couple short passes, right? Short pass, maybe a little bit underneath short pass, then this is where you like open it wide up, right? You open that wide open. So it's usually either this one or, or back here, yeah. cool? And then what I can do is then I get under center if I wanted to, but now I've got a fake, right? Yeah. So A is actually gonna do what? A uh, fake going between me and center. Yep, this is actually gonna go in between center. And then what's gonna happen with, with C? He's going to do a far out. Okay, so that's probably like 7 to 10 yards. That's a deep one. Is B doing the same thing that they've been doing? Yeah. Yeah, so B just keeps on doing it, acting as if they're going to get the ball, right? And then you have C just doing something completely different. What I like about C is, let's say they're your speedster, they're going full sweat, like full speed, and then they stop on a dime and do that out pattern, and that's where you have them, right? So yeah. you need to know this, this route really, really well. So let's do C, but then we'll also come back and show what A feels like as yeah. well, all right? Ready, go. So I'm going as fast as I possibly can down like I'm going to go. And they're just backing up. And then I go, boom, right away. And that's where you need to hit me, like right here. Right? You want to hit me right there because I've put my foot in the ground. And boom, I catch it right there. And then I go. So now let's show A on that one. This one, A lines up just like they always have. But instead of just going fake out and then hitting the sideline, what they're going to do is they're going to get over to that, that handoff as fast as they possibly can. So watch. Ready, go. Immediately, I'm going straight for it, and I'm acting like I have that ball. I've got that. I've got it, right? And if I can make sure that I have that, it gives him just an extra second because we haven't done that yet with this formation. The, the, the rusher will probably go after A. So you need to make sure that that's a really solid handoff, like fake handoff, because yeah. then they'll kind of bite on that a little bit, and then you can make that quick decision. So the reason why we do this, Noah, and have that nice fake handoff is it gives C enough time to run, let's say, 10 yards down. You can actually fake that handoff, and then right away you can throw it like right here to lead them. So it gives just enough time. Everybody kind of pulls that way just enough, and then boom, you can throw it right there. Yeah. All right, so these are four plays in a nice progression, meaning it looks the exact same on the field, and the defenders are like, okay, which one are they going to do? And then you can choose depending on which ones you want to go back to throughout the game, depending on the different situations. Cool, which one do you want to run? Uh, let's do this one. Okay. All right, I'll be see you one more time. Full speed. Ready, go. <laughs> Boom, got it. All right, that is it. Look, you can grab these and so many more at Flag Football with Coach D.com. We got you back with the wristbands, the clipboard, the play builder as well. Uh, this is Coach D and Noah. If you like what you see, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you in the next video.